What's up, DC fans? This is another video review about and all about McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Deathstroke, the Arkham Origins version of Deathstroke. So it's from the game. So we are we all know the uh, signature color of uh, Deathstroke. It's you know orange, blue, all that. Uh, so uh, for me, in my perspective, I think this is the perfect uh, Deathstroke, Deathstroke look compared to comics, to games, and series, and all that. I think this is the best, for me, the best look of Deathstroke. So, okay, let's go on with the uh, first, the accessories, uh, which is the huge, my huge complaint is. Uh, it's just, uh, of course, the standard uh, adds on from DC Multiverse. It's the artwork, so that's what he looks like in the game. Yeah, it is. Sorry for the light, man. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so, yeah. It's just the combination of the color is good, man. It's the uh, blue and orange stuff going on. Yeah, so, yeah, that's the bio. Slade Wilson. Yeah, sounds familiar, right? Yeah, with Wade Wilson. So, um, the other one is also this one. Yeah, I didn't manage to get the, you know, the, uh, the stand from Deathstroke because it's just another identical base stand. And the most, uh, well, the, 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 the main accessory is this one. It sucks. It's just a sword. It's just a sword. We should have uh, the stick, the staff. We didn't. Deathstroke is quite of a mercenary, so I think. Look at that. Fake guns. Fake. Come on. Grenades. Could have been much better if the uh, accessory was all in, but uh, technically not. Yeah. So that's the accessory. Let's go with the packaging. Uh, you know, nothing special. The standard one. Um, yeah, nothing. Yeah. So that's that stroke. All that stuff. We got Doomsday. Well, I have the Doomsday. So that's. I don't buy all the figures from the McFarlane waves from the McFarlane. Uh, Toys. I just buy the things that I really like. So that uh, happens to be Doomsday, that Stroke, uh, Wonder Woman. And I didn't buy all. It's not not all are good. You know, some are decent. Well, okay. Uh, the articulation of this guy. Um, a little disappointed though. A little disappointed, but it's not that bad. It's it's bearable. It's good. You know, but not the best. So, let's start with the head. So, I think it's a ball hinge uh, uh, articulation head. So, uh, it goes, you know, the usual stuff is, you know, side to side. You can rot uh, rotate that thing. Goes down that far. It's a pretty decent articulation in the head. Uh, up is, uh, it's okay too. Uh, Slay doesn't fly at all. So the you know the, uh, and also of course the butterfly which I really like you know butterfly articulation both both arms so ball hinge again is it is, is it a ball hinge I think and there's a swivel and it, oh yeah it, it hinders if you're gonna move this uh, arm because of the accessory well the detail so yeah yeah ball hinge also and you know both sides yeah. So in the two points in the elbow, pretty impressive, yeah. So the hinge and the ball jointed uh, a wrist. So some complaint, but I don't because I like it that way, yeah. And in terms of the torso, uh, he has that same with the Joker, you know, the little plasticky feels on the ab so sideways and forward and back that uh, it hinders also oh, again and that on, on this part it hinders yeah but still it's a good articulation most part in terms of the waist yeah 
yeah so and also one of my gripes is in the legs it's not ball hinge it, there's no swivel at all they could have been like the uh, Marvel Legends that just got in there and then put a swivel but doesn't have any it goes forward backward and look at that there's a gap and sometimes I'm afraid to go full move on that so yeah, the sideways also it spreads on that kind of identical in the Arkham um, um, the DC, DC collectibles with this kind of uh, setting of a uh, you know I remember Arkham Origins version of Batman so yeah um, it's, the articulation of the legs is okay it's just the swivel is not present no it's not on uh, the knee uh, two points again you see that two points so yeah it's it's quite stiff you know it's quite hard yeah so you just be careful because it, you know McFarlane toys before so far the I don't have any issue most of my you know the the uh, McFarlane toys that I have in, with this DC Multiverse has no issue with breaking things. So overall, uh, with articulation, uh, not that bad, not that well. It's good and it's good. It's okay, and it's not that bad. So it's decent. But knowing that Stroke was a mercenary that uh, who does a lot of stuff, I think it will. You know, yeah, the swivel in the thighs. Or just made made it a ball, you know, ball joint. But uh, they didn't. So, so the detail of this one is um, pretty okay, you know, um, because yeah, it, the figure that I had is doesn't have any issue in the paint apps. Everything is spot on. It's not. Uh, there's no, uh, you know, outlining of the. Uh, some of uh, the, the colors it's just uh, on the average man it, it's a good uh, it's a good piece of, uh, of a toy that that I have so nothing to complain oh by the way also in the, also the ball hinge of the ankle there's a pivot and there's a hinge and the yeah so yeah, so that's just a standard articulation there. So um, this the detail is fine, you know. It's not the best, but it's there, you know. The color is not too bright, not too dark. It it it, it captures the you know the color that uh, that I see a, a little dark orange. It just looks bright because of the lighting. It, it kind of it kind of reflects the uh, you know. But if you have it in your hand, it, it, it's not that bright actually. No, it's 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 not it. It's like a menacing orange. It's not uh, lively joy orange. You know. So yeah. So you can put the sword here, but mine is a little you know uh, bend. So I, I don't want to put it there because it might mess. Oh, so look at that. It's just a hole. There's a peg hole in there. Yeah. Why did you put it that? Man, come on. Mm hmm Yeah. So uh, you can put it, you know, the sword here. So you know, you get the idea. So uh, let's have a size comparison. Well, before any of that, we had the only two types of dead strokes that I have is from the Arkham Origins 4-pack series Deathstroke so you can see the significance of the color the blue this one is brighter the detail is if you're gonna pick the two I would if in terms of details this one because there's a real texture in terms of the battle damage the color is more accurate for me, you know. Uh, but if you're gonna weigh things down on the articulation and on the accessories overall, this will win, you know. But uh, if you want to the accuracy of the details, this would be the one. 
they 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 both look badass you know and look at this it has a longer you know has a longer mask yeah and the size is you know the McFarlane wave is McFarlane toys are are quite ginormous in some comparison to Marvel Legends and DC Universe so yeah so which one would sh you should well I would pick this over this one because it's just better in terms of uh, the color and the uh, detail but articulation wise this will win yeah and the accessories too so again comparison with the Joker from the Arkham Asylum is it I don't know forgot so yeah the size is pretty decent compared to this too yeah not bad not too big not too small of any and compared to the Wonder Woman bas basketball player edition you know Wonder Woman is this tall like intimidating if you're gonna date her too too tall so yeah it's good the size of that stroke concerning you know Batman and the uh, you know the Joker too is fine and here is Doomsday which I wish more um, should be more bigger like a li just a little just probably two inch bigger than his average you know that would be good yeah so overall my honest review my honest uh, outtake on this figure 1 to 10 I would give him I would give him a 7 it could have been 9 or 8 it could have been 9 if the articulation and the swivel on the thigh would be more than this it could have been 9 yeah 7 is the most modest uh, I would give I, I almost gave him a 6.5 but because I got a little uh, carried away with the detail and how it looks so I, I gave him 7 so yeah well, for all, all the fans of the Batman Batman game or just being a fan of Deathstroke yeah I would suggest you get these for display for play well got the best of both worlds yeah so yeah I would give him a solid 7 over 10 so thank you for watching and uh, hope you get this Deathstroke if you want